This is Dr. Michael Brisbane, neurosurgeon from Long Island, sharing with you some of my, some interesting cases. Um, the following is a 58-year-old man who presented with several months of progressive right occipital headaches, as well as some dizziness and coordination problems. This is a sagittal post-contrast MRI image, which shows this large cyst in the right cerebellum. There's also a small uh, enhancing nodule in the wall of the cyst. This was felt to be most consistent with a hemangioblastoma, a benign tumor with a large cyst. Because of the symptoms and the size of the abnormality, it was felt appropriate to operate on this. So I did standard um, surgical approach. Patient was in the prone position. I did a uh, right suboccipital craniectomy, um, opened the dura. We were able to remove the drain. I mean, we drained the, the cyst fluid. We removed the mural nodule, the nodule here. The pathology did show hemangioblastoma. Postoperatively, the patient's symptoms normalized. This is a post-op image showing again where we were. We put a little plate here and uh, the tumor and the cyst were all gone. Uh, subsequent images show the tumor remained gone. He was presumably cured. We also did uh, scans of the rest of his body and other workup to see if he might have von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, which sometimes can be associated with hemangioblastomas, but he did not have that. So ultimately, he just had an isolated, spontaneous hemangioblastoma with a large cyst that had a lot of symptoms. It was large. We operated with standard brain surgery technique. He did very well and has remained free of disease um, and presumably is cured from this. So thank you from, for hearing about this interesting case. Thank you.